We all know what is elastic material. A elastic material can be represented by a spring and it obeys Hooke's law. So this is the simplest form of Hooke's law where stress is directly proportional to strain. What this means is if we apply a load on elastic material, then as we apply a load, there will be some instantaneous deformation. As long as we keep that applied load, the deformation will be also constant. And when we remove that load, all of the deformation will be recovered back, which means elastic material retain their original shape once load is removed. And on the other hand, what is viscous material? So viscous material obeys this law where stress is directly proportional to strain rate, not strain. And viscous material can be represented using a dash pot. And when we apply a load over here, what will happen is as long as load is applied, the deformation will keep on increasing. And when we remove the load, then whatever deformation occurred, that will be permanent. It will not be recovered back at all. So these are basic elastic and viscous material. And as name suggests, viscoelastic material is nothing but which has property of both of them. So how to model viscoelastic material? It's simple. We have to use spring as well as dash pot. So the simplest form is a spring and a dash pot in series. This is also known as Maxwell fluid model. Over here, let's say if we apply a load, what will happen is because of this spring, there will be some instantaneous deformation and then that deformation will keep on increasing as long as load is applied. And when we remove the load, whatever instantaneous deformation happened, that will be recovered back because of this spring. And there will be some permanent deformation as well, which will be because of this dash pot. And another simple model can be a spring and dash pot in parallel, which is known as cave in solid model. Now, if we apply a load over here, then can you tell me what will happen? Yes, because of spring, there should be some instantaneous deformation, but dash pot will resist that. And because of dash pot, there should be a permanent deformation. Spring will resist that. So the deformation will be nonlinear. It will keep on increasing and it will reach some saturation point. And if we remove the load again, the deformation will be recovered back because of spring, but in a nonlinear fashion. So these are just two basic simple models. Of course, the real materials response will be much more complicated. It will not be something like this or even this. So for that, what we can do is we can use different combination of spring and dash pot and create much more complicated models. I'm not going into detail of much more complicated models and how to create its constitutive relation. For that, I have another separate video on this channel. If you are interested, please look into that. In that we will see standard linear solid model, which is known as SLS model or many more models. And we'll see how to create a constitutive model and solve it analytically. If you know the spring and dashboard combination, if you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab. And here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.